In this Adobe Firefly course, I'll walk you through all the features of Firefly, starting from text to image generator, using generative fill and its techniques, creating text effects, generative recolor for vector graphics, creating templates using text prompt, creating vector graphics using text, and a lot of tips and tricks. By the end of this course, you'll have a complete understanding of Adobe Firefly, and you'll be ready to harness the power of Firefly to turn your imagination into amazing graphics. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Alright, let's open the Firefly website. If you already have an account, go to the sign in. But if you don't have one, then click on the sign up to create a new account. This is the home screen and these are the tools that are currently available here. In this video, we'll be covering text to image generator and we'll talk about the other tools in the next part of this course. Here you can explore the work of others to get some inspiration. You can also see the text prompt on each image here, which resulted this image. If you click on any of the images, it's gonna open up that artwork. You can download your required image from here if you want. Let's go back and create something of our own. We'll start with something simpler. Let's try isolated pilot on airport. Now it has generated 4 images for me. At the bottom we have our text prompt and a button turned on that says suggestions. What it does is if I go to the prompt and hit space, it's gonna show me some prompt suggestions to choose from. Let's choose one and hit generate. It has generated new images for me. Another great thing about Firefly is that it keeps the record of previously generated images. And let me explain that. If I remove the extra prompt which was added by the suggestions and go to my previous prompt, hit generate that is gonna show me the same previous results without regenerating them. If you don't like these results or you want to see other versions of this prompt, then click on this refresh and it's gonna generate more images for you. Now on the right sidebar, we have some settings which do the real magic. First you have the option to choose Firefly version. Firefly 1 was the previous version. Firefly 2 is the newest and way more powerful than Firefly 1. They'll be adding more versions as they progress. I'm gonna keep it as it is. You can choose your required aspect ratio size from landscape, portrait, square and widescreen. Next you can select the content type. If it's set to auto, it's gonna decide on its own. Currently it's set to art, that's why these images look like cartoon style. If you want the generated images to look like an art, then keep it to art. I'm gonna change it to photo. And it'll be added at the bottom of the prompt. If I remove it, it's gonna change it back to the auto settings. But I'll select the photo style, and then regenerate the images. Let's check this out. As you can see, it has generated very realistic images for me. And this is the magic of Firefly new model. Now the photo type has the visual intensity option. If I increase the visual intensity, hit generate. Now these images look like graphical art or highly edited images. And if I decrease the visual intensity, hit generate. It's still gonna give me realistic looking images, but this doesn't look very high quality. So you can increase or decrease the visual intensity as per your need, but I'll just keep it in the middle. And as you know Firefly keeps the record of the previously generated images. It's quickly gonna give me the previously generated images. Next you have the match tab. What it does is if you upload an image or select a reference image from here, it's gonna apply the style of your selected image to these AI generated images. For example, if I select this reference image from here and hit generate. Let's see this. And these look quite impressive. So it has done a great job applying the style, colors and lighting to these images. You can also change the strength of your style. If you increase the strength, then it's gonna apply more of your selected style into the image generation. And if you decrease the strength, then this style is not going to be that hard into the image generation process. Alright, let's clear the styles and create another image. Let's try isolated teacher in classroom. Hit generate and let's see. It has done a really good job in generating these images. And this is where AI becomes very dangerous. So instead of buying expensive stock images, you can simply generate realistic looking images inside Firefly now. Making sure that the content type stay as photo. I'll change the aspect ratio to widescreen. I also want these teachers to be arms crossed, 
So I'm gonna put that in the prompt. As you can see, this teacher is not isolated anymore. Some students are shown in the background. So in a situation like this, try using some different keywords. I'll replace the word isolated with alone. Let's see if it gives our required results. And look at that, there are no people in the background anymore. Then we have the effect section, but I'll talk about this in a minute. Next we have is color and tone. You can choose if you want the generated images to be in black and white or have golden colors, vibrant colors or any of these. But I think my images already look good, so I'm gonna keep it as it is. Cause just because they are providing all these settings doesn't mean you have to apply them all. Next is lighting, and these options are very helpful. Let's try golden hour. Hit generate. And you can see the golden hour lighting in the images. You can just try them out based on your needs, but I'm gonna remove it cause I like the previous lighting. Next we have the composition settings. This includes different camera angles and shot sizes. Let's try shot from below. Hit generate and let's see. As you can see, these images are now generated from a below camera shot. Next you have the photo settings and basically it's related to photography. If you know photography then you are already familiar with all this stuff. And if you don't know much about photography then you can simply leave it to auto. Or use these descriptive words to make your changes. For example, if you want more lens blur you can move it to the right. If you want less motion blur or more motion blur. Next if you want a wide angle shot or a zoomed in camera shot. Lastly we have the advanced settings that says exclude from image. And what it's supposed to do is that if there's something you don't want to be included in the generated images, you can mention that here and it won't generate that in the images. In these images, some teachers are wearing glasses. So let's try removing that. I'll type glasses here and make sure to press the return key cause otherwise it won't work. Let's try it out. As you can see, none of the teachers are wearing glasses now so it's a great feature. But if for some reason it won't work for you then try using some alternatives keywords. Alright, let's clear all settings and create another image. Cyborg bird sitting on a high building apex. I want the content type to be set to photo. Aspect ratio looks fine and hit generate. These are already good but let's apply the magic of effects. You have some categories here. If I select all, it's gonna show me all the available effects, but it would be easy to go through each category. In popular category, we have the most used and popular effects. The next category is movements, and all these effects are actually inspired by art movements over the history. If I go to the Google and search for art movements throughout the history, you can see them here. Each movement had its own unique style of creating artworks during a specific time in history. You can see and learn more about them here. Alright, let's try steampunk. And you can see the steampunk style applied to these images. Now whenever you apply an effect, it's gonna appear at the bottom of the prompt. Let's remove the steampunk and try some different effect. Let's try synthwave. And you can see the difference. Let's try Cyberpunk, hit generate. I'll go with this one. Next we have the theme category and you have a lot of options here. I'm gonna choose cinematic from here. If you want to use more than one effect from each category, then make sure that those effects are complementing each other and not against each other. I'll choose Cybermatrix. Next you have the techniques, and these are basically different art techniques. Let's say you want it to look like an oil painting. And it'll make this look like oil paintings. 
Again, you can try them out or search on Google to learn more about these techniques. Next, you have the effects category. You can make it look like underwater or isometric or any of these. Next, we have the materials. And these are basically the mediums in which the artwork is created. For example, if I select the wood carving, it's gonna make it look like the artworks are created with wood carvings. And it looks really good by the way. But I want it to be metallic. Let's see the preview. Next from the concepts category. I'll apply futuristic. Hit generate. That's all for the effects. Let's try adding another keyboard here to see if it gives some better results. And that looks better. Next from color and tone, I'm gonna choose warm tone. Looks good, but let's see another version. From the lighting, I'll choose golden hour. And now we are reaching somewhere, aren't we? Let's try another version. I really like this one. And you can just keep on generating more versions if you want. Now we have got all the settings on the sidebar. Let's proceed further and if you hover your mouse over any of the images, you can see some options here. You can dislike or like and give your feedback to Firefly. You can also report an image if there are some certain problems. On the top right side, you can save an image to the favorites, which you can access by going to the favorites page. Then you have more options. You can download this image. You can create a link and share it with someone. You can copy the image and paste it into Photoshop or any other software. You can also use this photo into Adobe Express or save it to Creative Cloud Library. Then on the top left side, you have some editing options here. Now if you want to see some more similar versions, click on Show Similar. It's gonna keep this one here and generate three more images for you. To be honestly, I still like this artwork. You can try and generate more similar images if you want. From here, I can also use this image as a style reference. It's gonna show the image here and is the exact same thing as this reference image settings, which I covered earlier in the video. Hit generate. As you can see, it appears to be creating better results. Let's see another version. This composition looks fine. Now there are some more settings in the edit. You can add filters, remove background, add text and do more but this is done using Adobe Express which is very useful but a separate software. And I'm thinking of creating a free course about Adobe Express. Let me know in the comments below if you want a free Adobe Express course. Alright, there's one last thing that is generative fill. Now keep in mind that if you click on generative fill from here, 
then it's gonna push this image directly from here into generative field and you won't be able to come back to the text to image generator with all these settings. To explain that, I'm gonna duplicate this tab. Click on the image and let's edit this with generative field. You can see the generative field title here. Now if I click on this back button, then it's gonna navigate to the default generative field and Firefly homepage. And I can't find my artwork here. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you three solutions for this. The first solution is that you can simply duplicate this tab as I did and then use generative field on a separate tab. The second solution is that you can save it to favorites. Now if I open my Firefly website and go to favorites, I can find my images here. But keep in mind that your favorites are only accessible from the browser and device from which you are creating your artworks. Now if I click on it, it's gonna open up the whole text to image interface and you can then use generative field on your required image. If for some reason you didn't follow this solution, then there is also another solution. Let's open this up in generative field. As you know, if I click this back button, it's gonna navigate to the generative field default page. But instead of pressing this back button, you can press the back button of your browser window. And it'll bring you back to the text to image generator. That's it. Now I'll quickly go through the generative field for you, cause we'll discuss more about this in detail in the next part of this course. Let me go to the favorites page. Cause between these two, I really like this image. So I'm gonna use this one. Click on it and select generative fill. You can see some tools here and some at the bottom. I'll quickly draw some area here. Okay, that will work. Then it's gonna ask me to type something here. Let's try creating a UFO. And look at that, it's giving me three options to choose from. And I can generate more options if I want. This one looks good. But let's see another version. I'll generate one more version. The good thing about this is that it's gonna keep all the generative versions so I can go back to the very first, compare them with each other and then choose the best one. I'm gonna keep this one. Let's create another one somewhere around here. I'll draw some area and do the same thing. Let's see another version. This UFO looks similar to the first one, so I'll keep this one. If you notice, Firefly has done a really good job in applying the golden lighting here on both the UFOs, following the whole scene, and that's what makes it incredibly amazing. Finally, I'm gonna download the image from here. So that's the end of this video. Make sure to check the next parts of this Firefly course.